So when you start a new project with uh, the computer and the uh, the Tascam uh, Model 24, there are certain things you could do to make your workflow a lot easier. Um, the first, uh, I have a sort of a checklist, and the first thing I always do is check to see if the device is connected. Uh, it takes a few seconds to uh, start up. Uh, I'm working on a project at the moment, so I'm mixing so therefore my buffer size is quite large uh, but if you're recording you know you can have it uh, at a much faster uh, buffer size uh, so that's working and next thing I go is to options and I check the uh, the settings and preferences uh, I check that I am connected from uh, inputs from 1 to 24 and outputs are 1 to 22 uh, because if you're using a different interface for example um, you know sometimes you need to connect it so you forget to do it that sort of thing so that's checked uh, sometimes I also check depends what I'm doing is that I make sure that my hardware um, is enabled um, whatever ones I'm using for the project uh, also the outputs as well because it depends um, where, you, where you've rooted things uh, so it's worth checking this at the start of each project uh, that should just take a few seconds really uh, the next thing um, that you should be aware of uh, if you've just got your task cam is that the master track which is generally rooted to tracks 1 and 2 um, will go out uh, by default to uh, the audio tracks on, on 1 and 2 here on the task cam. Um, you've got to make sure that the settings are PC up at the top and that means it receives and sends from the task cam to the computer. Uh, without that you're not going to get any sound. The, um, the buttons at the top the knobs at the top, uh, the, the gain knobs, they don't work with the PC settings, so there's no point in altering them. The PC uh, sound will go you know, down here, really, and then out through the master. Uh, so you can manipulate uh, the EQ, uh, you can add reverb, you can send through the augs, uh, but you know, you don't add gain um, via this, you add gain via your computer. Um, so the next thing you would do is to add tracks. So let's add, for example, four tracks and you're working with four instruments. Um, now there's a couple of ways of doing this and um, I'm going to start with the way that I don't use because as I say this is routed out to 1 and 2 via the master so whatever tracks you're playing here will go to the master and then it'll be sent to tracks 1 and 2 on your task cam. Uh, you can go to the I.O. button here and press that and then you can route go to audio hardware output and then you can choose which channel on your task cam you want to send this audio to. One and two had already been used by the master. So whatever you play on your computer will go to the task cam anyways via the master through channels one and two. Um, but if you want, for example, to just have channel one um, going to the task cam then you can say channel 3 for example yeah and then you can close it down and on, on channel 2 you can send this to track 4 on the task cam yeah so you have your individual channels that you can route uh, these channels to on the task cam uh, this is why I don't use this system because if I'm on channel 1 here 
and I'm on channel 3 here, it gets a bit confusing because I look here on channel 1 and I have to think, well, hold on, I'm channel 3 down here. Um, and, and really, if I'm sending a track, you know, if I'm sending a, a VST or a, or a sequence or whatever from channel 1, uh, I don't really need this. I mean, yeah, it does, I mean, I'm, I'm sending the track anyways from here, so I don't really need the master. So what I've done is I've disabled the master track, so I've just deleted it. Therefore, it's inactive. Yeah, the master doesn't work anymore. And it's, it's uh, so channel one on my computer, I've routed to channel one on the Tascam. And I've routed channel two on the computer to channel two out to the Tascam, yeah? So one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. The other thing you can do um, is add effects to your tracks here. Now you can add uh, any any VSTs you want. Uh, you could add you know, your reverbs. You could add your compressors. You can add your EQ. Uh, EQ, you know. So it's there. You could save this uh, as an effects chain. Sorry, you can save this as an effects chain if you want. So it's already there waiting for you. Um, and and you can add this. You know, uh, I mean, you can add the same effects to each each of the tracks um, just by just by dragging and dropping. Yeah, to each of the tracks. I mean, that's a quicker way of doing it. Yeah. Um, and then you can you, you you can save these tracks uh, to use them again in the next project, and that's really what I wanted to talk about now because. To do this is quite time consuming. I mean, if, if you've got multiple projects on the go, which I have, it can get a bit confusing how you've routed everything. And also you can get a bit confused about what's actually on on each of the channels. So I, I created a template that I can load up every time I start a new project, uh, which means that this is always, uh, the master is always, um, not routing, not routed, and these all all have the VSTs and and uh, plugins uh, each time, so I don't have to do them each time. They're all routed. It's all set up. Uh, so the way to do that is by going up to File, go down to Project Templates, and then you save. Yeah, File, Project Templates save project as template and you click on that you name it and then you press save uh, and that's it saved so when you start up um, a new project so that's uh, you go to file you go down to project templates and then you you go to save you go down to the the file name, which for me it's this, and once it's loaded up, um, you have, in, you know, I've I've done 24 tracks, never mind four tracks. I've done the whole, I've done the layout of the Tascam 24 basically, um, and what I mean by that is that uh, the master is is not working as a master anymore. Um, the 24 tracks all have the same plugin. In my case, it's Neutron. So, but but it could be, like I said, it could be just the uh, the Reaper plugins, um, equalizer, EQ, uh, equalizer, uh, compressor, that sort of thing. I've put that on each track. Uh, I've also routed, you know, 
uh, output is one down here and that goes all the way up to um, 22 so you know, output 22 and that corresponds with 1 down to 22 uh, 23 and 24 um, on the task cam there's, there's two options for this um, which I'll show you now so if you go to the task cam and if we go on to the menu uh, if we go, if we scroll down all the way to the bottom to system and then click on the button uh, you can scroll down to USB audio and if you again press the button you have an option of uh, multi input or stereo mix uh, I think by default it's on stereo mix but I've chosen multi input because I want it split into two tracks uh, the stereo mix would be just one file uh, it's a personal preference but um, I'll show you why I chose that in, in a minute so I, I've chose uh, multi mix so therefore the stereo file is broken down into two, two channels two separate channels so I come out of that and then I go back to uh, Reaper. So back into Reaper, if you go to channels 23 and 24, uh, at the moment nothing's set. Yeah, but if because by default uh, the Tascam sends audio through the USB back into the computer via tracks 23 and 24. Now, if you had that other setting, the stereo mix, it would just come out um, onto 24 because it would be just one file. Uh, it might come out onto 23 as well, but it, it would be just one file. It would be the same on both channels. With the stereo, with the, um, the multi mix option, each file is separate. So I can uh, have the option of uh, setting the faders. On, on both channels to, to make the balance uh, better. Um, I'm going to open up another template uh, to show you what I mean. So I've opened up a, a different template. The layout is the same. There's still 24 tracks. Um, tracks 23 and 24 uh, are inputs from the task scan, but I've added ozone uh, so the, imp the the audio that's coming in from Tascam is being processed as it comes in. Again, it speeds up the workflow. Um, it automatic. I mean, you set it, yeah, and then you let it run, and as it runs, it it'll it'll process these two tracks in real time. Uh, you press, you know, you. you you record, you arm the tracks and you record and, you, and Ozone does its job as well. On channel 2, uh, I've put an instrument because I use the computer as an instrument now, not as a recording um, device. So Neutron is there, uh, which I use to process the sound. Uh, I've also put a VST on there to make the sound um, so if I play it um, it's going through the master yeah but it's actually there's no, nothing there's no output there yeah it's not it's not going to tracks one and two it's not being sent but track two is going to track two so I know on the task cam, I know where to find it. I, yeah, I know where the slider is. It's on. It's on channel two. So if I if I turn it up, yeah, you can see audio is going into Tascam on channel two. 
and it's set to PC return. Yeah, that's that's that setting here. Yeah, and it's at the moment it's just uh, it's just a MIDI file, and it's going through a VST. So that's the sound you're hearing. Now, yeah, you can change the fader. Yeah, so you can, and I've add, I've added some uh, reverb. Yeah, you can you can change you can change the sound. Yeah, so it works. The EQ works, but the top doesn't. Yeah, and if I wanted, which I have done before, you can org send it to like a reverb box. And then back in onto a different channel, and everything everything goes through the desk and out through the stereo. Yeah, and it and it goes back into Reaper. And if you click on here, see. And then with Ozone, yeah, it's already processing the sound. Yeah. Same with this one. So I've, I've got that stereo, yeah, yeah, I've got that stereo um, setting, so, and I can change, I mean, af af after the recording, I can change the levels to, to, to where I think they should be. It's a good way of... I like this process because it's a good way of mixing the sound, uh, and then I can then I can, and the volume's controlled here. It's it's a good way of, of uh, mixing the sound, and therefore you can go to render, and and and, you know, save it, as a stereo file, and then you can master it, for example. But the whole process is just one go. You know, it's like a loop, goes out in, out, in.